Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Sauce Walker. Now, I like talking about Sauce Walker. I've done several videos about dude, man. He's been putting it on for Houston for a long time. Him and the Sauce Factory, they're probably one of the most well-known names out of Houston's rap scene right now. And Sauce Walker is known for some other things as well. Now, currently, his, his team is going through a situation where some people who were down with his label were going through a RICO case, man. Hello, we've learned tonight from the FBI that more than 200 personnel, tactical teams from all across the state, came in and surrounded the homes of these 14 accused criminals, arresting them at 6 o'clock in the morning. For the second time in two months, the FBI announcing a group of arrests. The special agent in charge of the Houston division says target violent crime. For every criminal that we take off the streets, that's one. You had several people getting arrested or whatnot, but it seemed like Sauce Walker made it out of that situation unscathed. But today, I have to report to you that it looks like Sauce Walker then got locked up, y'all. Yeah, I mean, for real. Sauce Walker out here looking bad in these streets, man. Now, Sauce Walker looks like he made a mistake in a state that he shouldn't have made a mistake in where things could have probably went a different way if he was in another state. And hopefully you guys can decode what I'm saying, man, because Sauce Walker doesn't seem reckless. He doesn't seem like he's always out here doing anything wild. Now, to be real, there are situations that he's had in the past within the last two years that do raise some eyebrows. Let's be real. His his back and forth with Blicka Blicka got crazy to a point where there was a shootout. Then there was a situation that happened in L.A. while he was out there where somebody lost his life. Try to change a tragic story into a dumb story because it was out of some dumb it happened but the only reason why i'm even considering doing this is because i want to bring some closure and some clarification to the families and the sister of this brother that mistakenly tragically lost his life in this situation for no reason and for the family having to see their family member body slain and slandered all over the internet for no reason but it also i also was trying to keep it so g in the situation that i didn't even want to incriminate or put the person in trouble that could have harmed my life and they took this other man's life in this situation but since all the information is already public and out now we can speak on it what happened was and what i said in the original video like i told y'all i don't know what's going on and how it went on we all trying to find out the rest of this information but what i do know is that everybody ain't going Guns kill everybody, but everybody is not scared of guns. And tragically, what happened, just like you see on my make up a black eye and all this, what happened was I fought for my life and fought for my jury and my belongings and got me and my men up out of the situation and up out of there and, and, and squabbled myself out of a situation where a firearm was put in my face. Half of you, half of you wouldn't even fight with a, with a butter knife in their hand. And, and tragically, after that situation, the same that, that I made this person run out from the situation from a failed, failed robbery attempt, ran off and ran into another man and tried to rob this man. And this man did the same thing that I did because he was a black king, a black warrior, somebody that fought hard for whatever he had in life. He had his firearm on him and he wasn't going. And unfortunately, in his situation, he lost his life. I could have lost my life as well. I, we both made the same uh, erratic, irrational decision because we, we want this, we, we, we're not going and we're trying to live and die for what we have. But in this situation, I don't think Sauce Walker was so much in the wrong as he would have been in another state. Now, before we get to the specifics and talk about all the details, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now look at this here, man. Now, this is a post that was made by Say Cheese that talks about what's going on with Sauce Walker right now. You see the dual mug shots right there. And he doesn't look too happy about the situation, man. Now, it goes on to say this in the caption. It says, Sauce Walker was arrested in Miami. He allegedly had 66 grams of marijuana in his backpack inside plastic bags. He also had a bench warrant for no driver's license. He was released on $5,000 bond. So, or $5,000 bail. S same difference, right? Now, it seems like Sauce Walker was out in Miami acting a fool. Now, I hate to say he was acting a fool because... You know, like I said, in other states, this wouldn't be that big of a deal. 
But since it's a state where that substance is illegal, it looks that much worse, man. And his bond, being $5,000, lets you know the gravity of the crime. But Sauce Walker, it seems like, man, anytime he's in Florida, he keeps running into these instances. Remember, there was a whole raid that took place. I think half of it was in Florida, another half was in Houston, and Sauce Walker ended up looking bad in that situation. Now, in this situation, he doesn't look as bad, to be honest with you, man. It seems like Sauce Walker was out here, I guess Sauce Walker was out here doing what he does, and for most people, this wouldn't be a big deal. But you gotta remember, in a lot of the southern states, I think all of the southern states pretty much, that substance is still illegal, man. So you gotta watch yourself. Even though he had it packed in plastic bags and a backpack and all that, eh, that's not gonna matter when the dog pulls you over and really sniffs through that like it's nothing and they pull you over and tell you, okay, you've broken the legal limit on this or show me a card or something of that nature, right? Now, it said he was released on $5,000 bail, so that, that lets you know right there, man, that he'll probably be able to figure this out or get out of this with any type of real time. But man, what's crazy about Sauce Walker is the fact that the Sauce Factory has been under a lot of scrutiny lately. Remember, they just had members get caught up in a RICO. And luckily, somehow, Sauce Walker was not one of them. For the rest of his crew, his even his groupmate or his old groupmate, Nah, it, it was it, he got locked up as, as well and i believe even his brother and i believe they said even one of his artist brother got locked up so it's a weird situation with sauce walker because dog it goes from such extremes now since sauce walker had been on what was that jay-z's playlist i want to say like four or five years ago he's seen some success in the rap game man like a lot of people appreciate him for his raps he puts on for Houston, and he puts on for people who are, you know, live a certain type of lifestyle. I'll say that much, man. And I think that's a part of the the appeal with Sauce Walker, man. But in this mugshot, man, my dude looked crazy, man. And I ain't dissing Sauce Walker, man. As y'all know, I do a lot of videos about Sauce Walker. I like him, man. I think him, he reminds me, he got almost the same energy as Pimp C, but he's not a producer. He's just got, you know, he just, you know, he just kind of, on the rhymes, he's kind of like flows his way through there with like flavor. He tries to put some sauce on it, man. I guess that's the best way to put it, put it right? <laughs> he puts some sauce on it, right? Pause. But to be real, I don't know, man. The way that Sauce Walker seems to put his lifestyle out there, the way that he seems to live things and do things out there, it seems like he's always going to run into situations such as this if he's not protecting himself and watching himself. Even in the situation in LA, remember when we originally reported that, everybody talked about the fact that they thought that Sauce Walker was the person who shot somebody. Hey man, I really ain't want to speak on this, but I know it's too many young black kings and young kings out there that's being misled and misguided, wrong, learning half of the game and not the whole game. So y'all need to learn from this experience that I went to tonight, because being a rapper is one of the most dangerous jobs in America, and there's a lot of young men out here that want to do this. But I know everything that come with it. But I want to speak on this part right here. Understand this. Everybody don't go. Everybody don't go and everybody ain't going. And I'm one of them people that's not going. So unfortunately tonight somebody lost their life for doing something stupid. And I don't know how it happened or what was going on. But I really would like all the young black men around here to learn. Before all the tabloids and the and the fake stories get out there. I want y'all to learn from this experience. Now I'm still standing here 10 toes down, all my jewelry and everything that I worked hard for. I don't want you to go through these dumb situations for doing something stupid that somebody taught you or led you to do, that you can go be a, a king, you can go be LeBron James, you can go be a lawyer, you can go be Sauce Walker. But understand this, but being this right here, it, 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 you can live better. And Sauce Walker didn't shoot anybody in that situation. He had to come back and he dropped a video where he talked about the fact that, yo, I didn't shoot anybody, and this is what's being reported. And man, a lot of people went on went a lot of people went on his behalf to say like they didn't believe that he did anything wrong. You know what I mean? So it's crazy, man. Like right now, I think there's some eyes on Sauce Walker. If he was smart, he would start moving real quiet. Because when you start getting pulled over and arrested for these minor details and things like that. That lets you know that eyes are on you. And they were probably hoping that he had something bigger on him at the time. I bet that, man. I, I guarantee you of that.
Bruh. And since Sauce Walker was the only person who's notable and the CEO of TSF to skate or not be uh, charged in that Rico case, I think, man, there's some eyes on him, man. So he needs to move carefully, man, because for real, like, honestly, they're probably watching him and watching each and every move that he makes to make sure that if he messes up even a smidgen, they're going to be on top of it and he's going to face some serious charges. Because what does it look like that TSF has a RICO case open right now and the alleged CEO of the label TSF doesn't have any charges, isn't involved in any way, not caught up in any of the paperwork or anything like that? Because remember, I did a whole live where I talked about the whole case put the people in Houston as far as like the feds or whatever put out there as far as statements, names, cases going back several years and everything. And luckily for Sauce Walker, he wasn't involved in none of that. He didn't have his name in any of that. So it looked like Sauce Walker got out of that situation with a win. And you best believe, man, they grind in their teeth because Sauce Walker and the lifestyle that he puts out there, it's, it's kind of thumbing his nose in the, in the eyes of law enforcement and people who don't like that lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? And those who know, know what I'm talking about and can read between the lines. You know what I mean? And I'm not promoting anything of that nature, anything wrong or bad. I'm just talking about Sauce Walker as an artist. But to be real, man, this is another close call and we'll see how this plays out because I don't know what the what the laws are in that state as far as like punishment when it comes to small or large amounts, personal use. You know, there's all sorts of different details that you got to think about in these situations. And hopefully Sauce Walker and his team are prepared for that as well, man. Craziness, man. It's wild to see Sauce Walker, man, with a mugshot up here. You know what I mean? But it seems like Sauce Walker it will be all right in this situation. I know a lot of people, like, as soon as it went out there, everybody was like, what? Sauce Walker got arrested? You know what I mean? A lot of people were saying things about it, how he got caught up, how he's moving reckless or whatnot. But eventually, I think he'll be all right in this situation. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see, man. But y'all tell me what y'all think, man. Do y'all think that Sauce Walker is out here moving reckless, knowing that there's an open RICO case against people from his alleged team and people that he's associated with? I mean, even people he's allegedly related to? Or do you feel like this is a situation that he probably got caught up in a state that has different laws than any other state and it was just maybe a mix-up or something like that, man? We giving him a lot of credit with that one right there. But y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. Now, with that, this has been your boy Big Man. Do me your favor. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.